In this quick video, I will show you two methods how to install Google Analytics 4 on Webflow. First, you need to log in to your Google Analytics 4 account and then go to the admin panel. Here, click Data Streams, then select your website data stream, and we will need to use this measurement ID, so copy it. Then go to your Webflow dashboard, open your website site settings. One of the places where you can reach that is by clicking these three dots and then settings, and then click apps and integrations. Here, there is a measurement ID field where you should paste it and then click save. And finally, click publish, publish to selected domains. Now you have installed Google Analytics on a website. And if you want to test if this is working, first you can go to Google Analytics, reports, then real-time pages, or real-time overview will also work. Then go to the website and then either refresh it or go to another page. For example, I will go to work. Then you can navigate, for example, to contact or another page that you have. And let's go back to Google Analytics real-time reports. And you should see some users and those pages appear right here. In Google Analytics, there is also another feature that lets you troubleshoot incoming data. It is called Debug View. Let's go to Admin, then in the data display, click Debug View. However, here you won't see any events. Even though I do see them, these are from my previous test. In your case, you won't see any data here. This happens because by default, Google Analytics is not enabled to show the debug data. To do that, first you would need to install the Google Analytics Debugger Chrome extension. I will post a link to it below the video. And once you install it, then go to your extensions and click on it. Once you do that, then the icon will change to on. Once you have enabled the extension, you can refresh the page. You can go to another page if you want. For example, I can go to home page. And once that happens, we can go back to the debug view and then eventually some of those events will become visible right here. For example, I have the page view, I can click it and I can see the page location, page title, and some other things that Google Analytics tracked automatically. So this was one way how to install Google Analytics. You just add the measurement ID here and it will be added to all pages of your website. However, personally, I prefer a more flexible, but on the other hand, it's a bit more advanced solution, which is with Google Tag Manager. If you're not familiar, Google Tag Manager is a tool that allows you to manage various tracking codes, not just Google Analytics. You can also manage Metapixel, you can also manage LinkedIn tracking codes or other tools that you're using, like Microsoft Clarity, for example. So to install Google Analytics with Google Tag Manager, first you would need to install GTM, which is Google Tag Manager, and then install Google Analytics inside of it. So first I will remove this kind of integration because I don't want my data to be duplicated. And then I click Save, then Publish to select the domains. Then I go to Custom Code, and here I will have to add the Google Tag Manager tracking code. This feature to add custom codes is available only to paying plans and those websites that have connected their own custom domain. So if your domain is showing something like webflow.io or something, then Google Tag Manager will not work. It will work only if your own custom domain is connected to the website. You can connect custom domain by going to publishing, then add custom domain and complete all the steps. Anyway, let's go back to the custom code section. To access Google Tag Manager, you will need to go to tagmanager.google.com. And if you have never used it, then sign up. And for your convenience, I will even post a tutorial below the video if you want to learn more about Google Tag Manager. Once you have created the Google Tag Manager account and a container, then click on your container ID right here. It starts with GTM and then copy the first code. Then go to Webflow and paste that code right here. Even though Google Tag Manager also has a second code, it's not necessary. In 99% of cases, you won't need it. So we can just skip it. Then click Save and Publish to selected domains. And of course, when you're publishing, just make sure that you're publishing to the custom domain website. Because if you publish just to the staging website with this kind of domain, then again, Google Tag Manager will not work. So once Google Tag Manager is installed, then you can go to GTM interface, then click preview and enter the domain of your website. Then click connect. 
Right now, we are just testing if Google Tag Manager is installed properly. If it is, then you will see that Tag Assistant is connected. Now we can install Google Analytics. Let's go to Tags, then click New, Tag Configuration, and select Google Analytics, Google Tag. Here, you will have to paste the measurement ID. You already know where you can find it, so go to Admin in Google Analytics, then in Data Collection, go to Data Streams, select your website data stream, and copy the measurement ID. In Google Tag Manager, paste it right here. Then in the triggering section, I see that the trigger is initialization all pages. I will keep it as it is. If you don't see the trigger here, then you will need to click anywhere and select a trigger which will be visible right here. And that trigger should be initialization all pages. But I already have it, so now I will just name this, let's say, GA4 and click Save. Let's test if this is working. So click Preview. This will refresh the preview mode. The tag assistant has connected. And now if I click initialization, I see that my tag is in the tags fired section, which is correct. Now I can go to the debug view and test if the data is being received properly. So in admin, go to data display, debug view, and you should see some events right here. If you're using Google Tag Manager and debug view, then it is not necessary for you to have the Google Analytics debugger. Even if I disable it, and then let's say go to one page, then I go to another page, those events will be visible in the debug view of Google Analytics 4 because we are using Google Tag Manager here. So now if I go to the debug view, you will see more page views coming in right here, and here we see some data. Once you made sure that you are receiving the data and it is displayed properly, then you will need to go to Google Tag Manager, click Submit, and then publish these changes. For example, we can call this Installed GA4 and click Publish. From this moment, Google Analytics has been published to all website visitors, so it means that when they land on your site, the tracking code will be activated and you will start collecting data. The benefit of Google Tag Manager is that you can fire your tags not only when you know, the page just loads, you can also create more complex conditions. For example, you can fire certain tracking codes when a pop-up appears on the screen or when the form is submitted or when the visitor scrolls down to the bottom of the page. So you have more power here. Of course, there is some learning curve here, but if you dedicate more time, this will definitely pay off because you will be able to track more things compared to the standard GA4 integration, which was previously shown in the tutorial right here. And that's how you can install Google Analytics 4 on Webflow. If you found this video useful, hit the like button below the video. That will help me understand what videos do you like and what should I create in the future. Also, if you want to learn more about Google Tag Manager or GA4, then subscribe to my channel. My name is Julius, this is Analytics Mania, and I'll see you in the next video.